This is the new HO scale REE models uh, Renault VH railcar. So the Renault VH were nicknamed Iroquois because of the sort of Mohican that they've got with the, the radiator structure on the roof. And they were commonly seen throughout France. Uh, there are four versions available currently, another five versions have just been announced. And I imagine that there's quite a few liveries that they can put on these over the years. So, the four versions that we currently have do have variations in the door structures and even the number of windows. So, depending on who specified them, a lot of these had differences. So, REE have captured a lot of these characteristics of the, the vehicle. But they've also innovated quite a lot. This is a DCC mount sound model. It has got a power pack in it. So it will keep it going for about 3 or 4 seconds. Just keeps the sound and the light smooth over a dirty track. The other real innovation with it is the structure. So you'll see in the front there is a detailed engine in the main cab. You've got detail of all the seats in the middle cab and we'll put the lights back on to show that. I like the little curtains as well, there's a lot going on in there. And certain areas you've got little fold down seats up in the side and then you've got the rear driver's cab. And that has got railings and things inside it as well. So there's a lot of details that previously manufacturers have sort of glossed over. And you'll see that the thing has got a completely flat floor. And they've managed to do this by making each bogey a motor bogey. So there is an electric motor in both ends, driving all four wheels. A couple of switches there you can see will turn out lights on the model. It's more for the analogue version which will be out later in the year. There's some really fine details on the grills there. It's an incredible job, and then you'll find every so often there's an open window. Oh. Yes, it's quite an incredible model. To keep the model as neat as possible, there are plug-in sections, so this front section has got a cosmetic replacement. So, it's quite clean there. But underneath it, there is a close coupling kinematic that allows it to swing out on corners. And here are the components to put in a coupling if you wish, so particularly if they're going to haul a trailer car, um, you just unplug section at the front, plug in this new section and plug in the coupling holders.
models come with an English and French uh, instruction manual that shows how to take it apart, which is quite handy if you want to put passengers in them. Uh, it is a case of taking these off first, so these pull out at each end and then the chassis just drops out. Just be careful when you drop the chassis out, there is a plug here that goes to the electronics in the top. So I've unplugged that now, so just don't pull it too hard. There's a bit of slack on it, so you've got an inch or so to get it and unplug it. And that's that manual. So there's also a history of the water rails, which nice pictorial history and potentially different liveries that we may see from our EE. The reason I've opened it up is just to actually show some of the detail that we can't really see through the windows with the camera. You can see them with your eyes, but the camera doesn't focus on them so well. And in the top there, there's even the luggage racks. So, some nice details going on there. And the engine compartment in there. Really cleanly done. Well, we've got the ends off. You can actually see the close coupling kinematic there. So that's what the coupling head clicks onto when you use it. And these units just slide on gently and then plug them in. So another clever piece of design that was pioneered with the CC 7100s is this double articulation. So the, the bogey actually moves when inside its frame to give it a tighter radius. So it's 360 millimeter radius that this will go round. So it means that your cosmetic frame looks better but actually it floats around the bogey. And the other thing is that the, the bogies themselves are compensated so they are able to rock at an angle as well just to keep on uneven track. So there's amazing things going on in this model. 